These were the scenes in many parts of the country today after the Azimio led demonstrations turned ugly. As this was going on, leaders allied to Kenya Kwanza, led by Kim Lili MP Didmas Barasa, called upon the supporters to arrest Azimio leader Raila Odinga over the chaotic demos that rocked the country. And even if it's Raila Odinga, the law allows the citizens to arrest anybody who's planning to commit felony. So I will ask citizens, Kenya Kwanza supporters, to, uh, if they see Raila Odinga, they should arrest him, put him in the boot of a pro box, and take him to the nearest police station. Barasa asked his supporters to come out in their numbers to arrest Odinga to avert further destruction of their properties. The police pronunciation terming today's demonstration as illegal because there was no notice given is enough reason why Raila Odinga should be taken to court. And I, I, like I've said before, if the government of Kenya is unable to protect Kenyans, then we will be asking Kenyans to protect themselves. Mbele North Member of Parliament, Geoffrey Waruku, echoed Barasa's sentiments calling upon the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, to arrest the Azimio leader. In future, when you organize a demonstration, they are not peaceful, they are causing destruction, then you must be held liable so that we can have well-organized demonstration which ensures the right of the other person enjoys natural environment and enjoys uh, the right to carry on business without any, any interruption. Roku at the same time has moved to draft a bill to tame the runaway opposition protest being witnessed in the country. This bill gives liability to any person who organizes a demonstration. And there is loss of property, there is loss of life. That person must be held uh, liable, must be made to pay for the loss of property and loss of life and destruction of infrastructure. Roku said demonstrations, assembly picketing and petitions bill 2023 put liability on the shoulders of organizers in the event of destructions, injuries and loss of lives. Dan Kaburu K24, Nairobi.